Thousands of people in the Democratic Republic of Congo have attended the state funeral of Rumba star Tabuli Rocha in the capital, Kinshasa. The day has been declared a national holiday and the funeral service took place at the parliament. Tabuli, who died last month, wrote more 3,000 songs during his long career and was popular across much of Africa. Speaking during the service, Musician Kofi Olamide called for 9 December to be declared National Rumba Day. Tabuli was one of the pioneers of Congolese rumba, known as Sukas, with lyrics usually sung in the local Lingala language. Sukas comes from the French word for shake secour and its dancers are renowned for their erotic moves. Tabuli Rocha, our master, our guide and our father, was and will forever be the pride of the Congolese nation. Mr. Olamide, who is also a popular rumba musician, told the gathering of politicians, including the president, and other dignitaries. And so, respectfully, we ask President Joseph Kabla and his government to officially make the day of Tabuli's passing the National Day for Congolese rumba and Congolese musicians. Inspiration I didn't go to school because I wanted to pay a tribute to Tabuli, a monument of African music. Joachim Tabuli fan the BBC's Maud Jallian in Kinshasa says the parliament building is covered in posters of the man his fans call Senor Tabuli. People of all ages came to pay their last tributes to the musician, she says. I didn't go to school because I wanted to pay a tribute to Tabuli, a monument of African music. 18-year-old Joachim, who was amongst the crowd outside parliament, told the BBC. His songs have become classics, and his lyrics are so true. Even if he is not from our generation, we will remember him. Inside the parliament, two of the star's many children spoke during the service. It is thought he could have as many as 84 children, although he only officially recognized 49. Our reporter says one of his sons, the French rapper Yao Soufa, said he worshipped his father's work as an artist. He was the main inspiration for all the following generations of Congolese musicians, and will continue to be he said. Could he have given a more extraordinary present to his culture than to make millions of Ivorians, Gabonese, Chadians, and even Cubans, sing in Lingala? Tabuli was born in the western city of Bandundu more than 70 years ago, his exact date of birth is not known, first singing in church and school choirs. His career took off shortly before the country's independence from Belgium in 1960 when he moved to Kinshasa. He went into exile in the 1980s during Mobata says Siko's long rule, returning after his overthrow in 1997. The musician then went into politics, serving amongst other roles as a deputy governor of Kinshasa and a provincial cultural minister. He died in hospital in Belgium on 30 November and had not been well for some time.